Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, here's that 666 that arrived today, and uh, I really got this smoker tuned, and it is smoking. So I just want to do a quick video on this. Ten bucks on eBay, and this is smoking better than any other locomotive I have. Bring this up to speed. I just put some additional fluid in it, actually mineral oil. But as you can see, that's smoking quite well. It's actually getting quite smoky in here. That's one of the drawbacks of using locomotives with smoke, of course. I'm curious to see if it's going to set off the smoke alarm. But as you can see, that's smoking really well. There's a lot of smoke in the air in here. All right, one more time around and we'll shut it down. So six drops of mineral oil, it will smoke for, oh, about two or three minutes. And then it slowly just uh, stops smoking. It gets lighter and lighter and lighter until it just absolutely stops. As you can see, it's getting some good puffs as it goes around. All right, that's smoking really well. All right, let's bring it up here and shut it off. It is getting almost too smoky to stay in here. So that engine is smoking, and there is smoke everywhere in here. So it's efficient. It's almost too efficient. You can't run it more than a few minutes before you uh, actually have to step out and get some fresh air. If there was four of these running, uh, I don't know if you could actually do it, uh, if they were uh, smoking the way this one does. Anyway, this one is up and running. Its shell has now been transferred over to this rail, and as you can see, it uh, is far from perfect, but I sprayed it with uh, some paint. Wow, smoke. And uh, it covered that up fairly well. The only way, to, of course, to correct it is to actually file it and uh, sand the surface. Uh, it just, that oxide is just uh, eating the surface away. But I put a single reduction motor in this uh, shell so it wasn't just sitting there doing nothing. Wired it to the headlight, as you see. It's forward only, but uh, it's a double reduction motor. And as I've said before, if you want to put a standard motor in a 666, just turn the front crossbar around backwards, and uh, the holes will line up perfectly on the shell. So let me refocus this. And uh, I'll put it on a consist and take this around. This is basically free. This was just junk as you can see. Alright, we're on the third rail pulling tin litho and as you see that runs absolutely perfectly. Wow, it's really smoky in here. So the headlight is working. It's pretty basic but it's running. So I put that old motor in there just so this wasn't uh, going to sit under the, uh, the layout like the other one did. And I had a motor, so I figured I would just, uh, like I said, turn that crossbar around and mount it in there, and it works. Crude, but effective. Anyway, so there's a uh, kind of like before and after effect. So I took uh, the motor and smoker uh, and the trucks off of that and transferred it to this. 
much, much improved. Now, I just got to uh, get this rust off this push rod, and this is actually going to be a nice 666. Nice thing about it, of course, is it was 10 bucks, and it is smoking. It is really smoking. This is smoking better than any other locomotive I have. Anyway, I just want to do a quick follow-up on uh, what you can do with this stuff. Just made out of junk. Just literally made out of junk. And uh, took the best parts, stuck it in a different shell. You have a new locomotive that smokes just absolutely perfectly. Runs well and a little bit of cleanup. This is going to look nice. So I just wanted to do a follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.